It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Rams. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We're 10 miles south of downtown LA. Greg Olson excited for this one. Carter, what are we looking at here as this game gets rolled? Well, I think this game is quite interesting in the fact, Mike, that I feel like before every week's matchup, we sit up here and we talk about quarterbacks in the passing game. And obviously, that is the direction the NFL has been headed for the last couple of years. But in this matchup here today specifically, I think both these offenses want to flip that on its head. They want to control the clock, time management, ball control. Don't be afraid to punt the ball away and play defense. It's a little bit of an old-school philosophy, but you have to do whatever it takes to win each matchup, and I think both of those formulas of these two teams are very similar. For the return, it's Keyshawn Nixon. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback for Greg, just his second as a starter, waited his turn, and had a really good first year as a starter. Took a little while for him to get his chance to be a full-time starter, but once he got that shot, he just never looked back. And you might think he's always had that power for him. He can push the ball up and down the field and make every throw imaginable. But that time he spent on the sideline, I think it ended up being a massive blessing in disguise. He was able to work on his game from a mental and technical standpoint with no pressure to play. And now he is reaping all the benefits. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Now the replacement for Aaron Jones is Josh Jacobs. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six, it sets up third down. seven and a first down mike i think we make so much of all these fancy routes right the selling the head fakes getting in and out of the break and while that's really important to create separation that's really more of a man beater that's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender against zone defense like we saw here it's a lot more simple understand the concept of the play understand where the holes in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. We'll try again here. Second and 10. Out of the shotgun. It's low. And that is incomplete. But now a healthy flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. to go now on first and ten. To throw is Love. The open man is Reed. He's got it. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver, who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hands, and results in a completion. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. 
Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. That complete to Jacobs. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. They were able to complete this pass, but how often do we see these running backs run these angle routes and they catch it in stride and run a hole through the defense? So, I know the defense gave up some yards here, but it could have been a lot worse. On second down, Love. Throwing left side there, but it is incomplete. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. That is Musgrave, the man in motion. We'll try to run it here with Jacobs. Well, we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to them, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. The Packers going to call out the field goal unit. This one from 39 yards out. His kick will split the uprights. It's good. And the Packers will take a 3-0 lead. And that's a good drive right out of the gate. They're able to make some plays, move the ball down the field. I know they didn't get a touchdown, but that is a good positive result. Opening drive, we'll see the response as the kicks away. This returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line. The Reds led out by a Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford, second among all active passers in the NFL. Only Aaron Rodgers has thrown for more yards. Hard to believe, Greg, it's already season 16 for the man out of the University of Georgia. Stafford was one of those guys, Mike, that I think through the first half of his career was probably the most underappreciated quarterback in the entire league. The talent was always undeniable. But what he was constantly discredited for was just the fact that he was on some really bad teams that were left to play really irrelevant football down the stretch. Immediately changed that narrative the second he joined a championship roster. Now, he's just trying to see if he can add some more hardware to that resume and solidify that legacy even further. 16 yards on the game, and a quick first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to battle the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Rough start to this drive for the defense. Back-to-back -back big plays. This one for 27 yards. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Cup in motion. The NFL's third leading rusher a season ago. It's Kyron Williams. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. And Mike, you know the best time to pick up first downs is? On first downs. Don't wait for third down. We see it here. Three plays in a row, three first downs on chunk plays, and this offense is rolling. First down, right back to Williams. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It will set up second down. Oh, 
from the gun. Here's Stafford. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Important one here. Want to keep this drive moving. Got to pick up third and four. Stafford now. And he's in to Marcus Robinson. Touchdown, Los Angeles. And that was just a great drive, really from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm. Mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. Joshua Cardi comes out now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Rams move out to a 7-3 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here's Nixon on the return. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Packers offense ready now for their second drive. The trail by four, a touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. run of eight setting up second and short the man in motion is Watson off the play fake here's one this one is caught by Reed and that's going to be a first down a pickup of nine. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. It's the tight end craft in motion. Second down throw for Love. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. There's a third down and four. Now Love. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass look to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. They will get away from that one, and they're going to have tremendous field position. This ball hits and goes out of bounds. Rams offense about ready to get going on their second possession. 
They are backed up about as far as you can be, operating from their own two-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. From his own end zone, it's Stafford. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. I like the idea of using the passing game to try to give your offense a little breathing room. You find yourself in the shadow of your own goalpost, Mike. Worst case scenario, you do not want to punt out of your own end zone. So I like the idea of trying to pick up some positive gains through the air. They've got to come up with some completions and try to pick up at least one first down. And you're going to put your defense in a tough spot. They get 15 on that game. Good for a Rams first down. In motion, it's Robinson. Off play action, it's Stafford. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. And that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are under. And a good one here. He'll be marked down up past the 25-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. And a good piece of running there. He'll get about nine yards past the 35-yard line. A good spot here, second and a yard. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. the first down to start this drive. They're first and 10 up at the 42. Now it's a bootleg with Stafford. There's a throw right side. It's going to be incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Here now, third and five. To throw is Stafford. He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Here's first and ten. They'll fake the handoff now, Stafford. He'll take a shot here, back in the end zone. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner, Next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. 
We'll try again. It's second and ten. On the play fake, here's Stafford. That is brought in at the ten. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. That is a big play for L.A. 31 yards. It'll be first and goal when we come back. 7-3 is our score. We're back in Southern California. In a moment. This drive has been methodical, but will they turn it into six points? It is first, and, and he will take this one across into the end zone. business on the ground to get the score and Greg the big guys up front they deserve some praise on that one absolutely Mike and it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block but in this case give credit to the entire unit they did their job and they reward their offense with a touchdown Cardi now to add the extra point got it and the Rams extend their advantage to 14 to 3 kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Nixon on the return now an opening past the 30 and this will wind up working out well he's going to take it up to the 40 yard line good return the Packers offense starting to trot out for this next possession they trailed out 14 to 3 so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10 with love completes this one that's Christian Watson love to start any drive like that 18 on the first play and a first down do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive but now as they approach midfield continue to keep your foot on the gas don't get conservative don't start sitting on the ball cross midfield and go anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field you have to be thinking points and they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Nice pick up there by Jacobs. And I really like this signing this offseason, Mike. I mean, with the departure of Aaron Jones going to Minnesota, they know how important that backfield is alongside Jordan Love. Can he help this Packers offense take that next step forward and certainly done his part so far? This one complete right side. It's Watson. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Here's a second and six. Back to throw is Luck. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Here comes third and six. Now run. with 
the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, it hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Packers cut the lead to four. It's 10 to six. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. now to return and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive Kyron Williams and the Rams offense ready to get back to work the advantage is eight we'll see if they can make this a two score game on this drive first down and ten Stafford. He'll let this go. Deep shot for Atwell. I'll tell you what, Mike. Considering how this offense has played in the first couple possessions, I'm surprised that one wasn't completed. It seems like that's the first miss of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Continue to build on this momentum because so far they've come out hot in this one. They run over center with Williams. And a good run there. Finds the lane. Gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations. It'll get you the first down. Just not here. Cup in motion. He'll try to run for it with Williams. Down I don't think that's going to stand. They're already heading backwards. So after the five yards are walked off, they face third and long. Out of the gun, Stafford. He'll let this one go long for Williams. That is not the way down the field. Incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop sets up fourth down. It's pretty remarkable at this stage, Mike, that they're even winning this game. I mean, anytime a quarterback is completing less than 50% of his throws, you just don't see that very often. And it just seems like time and time again, this quarterback and his intended targets, they're just not on the same page. The Packers offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. On play action, look. That's Dobbs open left side. Inside the 30-yard line. It is a big-time play for the Packers. 39 yards. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. He'll look to throw. By the pressure, too much, and he goes down. Braden hits the rookie. In there that time for the set. Anytime you talk about defensive tackles in this Rams organization, of course, there's some big shoes to fill following the retirement of Aaron Donald, one of the best to ever do it. But 
With Fisk, they got a guy, Mike, that interior quickness, physical presence, his ability to get off the ball and create some havoc. Listen, no one is going to compare anybody in their first year to Aaron Donald, but the Rams have themselves a really good young defensive lineman that they have high hopes for. Third and long. From the gun, it's long. That is incomplete. Well, right back time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. There's a saying on defense, Mike, tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I can promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away from the six here comes a return and a solid run back there he'll get this out past the 30 yard line the Rams offense running back Kyron Williams ready to go once more the lead is five as they're going to start with this first down about this play Mike that was understanding where the holes of the defense were remember in this zone coverage you got to find green grass get past the first down marker be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver it's exactly how it played out here you can drop all the fancy plays you want but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes it's virtually impossible to stop Two plays, two nice pickups to start the drive. This one, a gain of 18. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. short of the first down a gain of 13 how fast things can flip you find yourself in first and a mile after taking a penalty on first down but that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down a gift and here comes Williams and he's going to struggle to get back to the line maybe a yard Preston Smith there to bring him down They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They go play action with Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine... There's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category, but 
the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with a lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, here's Jaden Reed. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. They try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. It's the tight end, Kraft, in motion. On first and ten, here's Love. Looking man is Reed. He's got it. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. In motion, Reed. Now, faking the give. That's caught downfield. Stops. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. The defense is just going to have to find a way, Mike, frankly, to just make this more challenging from the time the quarterback has in the pocket to the amount of separation the receiver has downfield. At this level, that is just too easy. They've got to tighten up both their coverage and find a way to get some pressure on the quarterback. Because if they don't do either, expect a lot more big chunk plays like we just saw there. On first down, it's Love. Back to Dobbs again. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. That's over the middle and intercepted. That's the safety, Cameron Curl. And the Rams are going to take over once again at their own 20-yard line. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and say there's ever a good time to throw a red zone interception. But in this case, it's the first half. You have the rest of the game to get yourself back down here in the red zone and make up for that miscue. Because next time they get down here, they got to be a lot more careful when they decide to air it out. The Rams offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. They'll start it here with a first and ten. In motion. Play action now for Stafford. The man is Robinson. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend you all by himself and after that last completion on the way back to the huddle i think he had a few choice words for him. He's like, Man, you can't guard me one on one you gotta ask the coach for some help because if he doesn't you're gonna be in for a long day to throw is stafford Here's a screen set up to Williams. Well, they hit the penalty yardage back here. Pick up of 10, and it will be second and 10. Yeah. 
Two minutes to go here till halftime. Greg and I return to SoFi Stadium after a short break. Second down, it's Stafford. That was not what they were hoping for. He's going to go out of bounds behind the line. A loss on that one. The quick passing game in the NFL, Mike, is so dependent on yards after the catch. you got to generate space with the scheme, and then it's up to the receiver to do the rest. In this case, nice job defensively, because this guy couldn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and long. Here's Stafford. steal some late points but either way worst case scenario Mike if you're the offense here you want to possess the ball going into halftime don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you so big pickup there now we'll see if they can turn it into some points on play action it's Stafford that is caught it's Robinson Second down and three. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. Oh. And we'll get him down after a game of five, but that is enough for a first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Throwing again is Stafford. Perfection is such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game, and they're knocking on the door here first and goal. At the very least, got to come away with some points. That is caught. On comes Joshua Cardi for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Rams add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. time remaining in this first half as this kick is away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So he'll take over at the 30-yard line. going to run it here up the middle and a nice game there on first down he takes it forward for eight yards on 
to the line now on second and two. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. You know, it's hard to speculate like we sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but they seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of win. The biggest issue in why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. Sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? and the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a vintage first half from the veteran Matthew Stafford. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. This will be returned from the six. Oh, he's got room past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Matthew Stafford and the Rams offense getting set to go again. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes over 200 passing yards he has been excellent all game long first and ten on the play fake here's Stafford taken down Rashawn Gary former Michigan Wolverine in there to take him down this is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles when you get beat so fast off the edge the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape and that's what happens work to do now as they come up on second and long Working out of the gun, Stafford. This one, caught by Parkinson. After that first down sack, I think we both kind of looked at each other and said, all right, well, there goes this drive. But a really nice job there in the passing game on second down. That big chunk brings them from second and long to now at least third and manageable. They'll come up to third and three. the shotgun it's Stafford and this ball incomplete on third down so you have to imagine this offense goes in at halftime they're feeling pretty good about the position they are especially knowing they possess the ball coming out for the second half you want to put together a great drive and add to the lead no time to be conservative no time to just sit on this ball and punt you want to keep the pressure on the defense and score every time you get it and that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Packers offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. Love to throw on first and ten. 
This one is caught by Reed. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Mike, what we're seeing play out across the NFL is that if offensively it requires you to go the length of the field in a long, methodical drive, your chances of coming away with points continue to go down the more you snap the ball. You have to be able to generate shot plays, pick up big, explosive chunks, because when you do, your ability to score points typically tends to follow. Off the play thing. Here's Love. That complete to Jacobs. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to accept. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. They'll run it to the right here with Jacobs. A oh, strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs kind of help wear down the defense. And I'll tell you what, you can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. He'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll take it down inside the 20. A run into the red zone, a pickup of six. Come up now for second down and four. From the gun, it's Love. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. Here's Jacobs. And he will power his way into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job. But can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. Extra point drive forthcoming. It's up and through. And the Packers are back within one score. It is an eight-point game. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this take it in at the eight yard line he'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25 yard line the rams offense and matthew stafford heading back onto the field and he's had it going in the first half really had his way with the secondary they have been powerless to stop him now they're trying to keep it going So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Play action, Stafford. Oh, that's a hold in by Cup. And he's going to get this to the 37 yard line. Uh, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. This one taken in by Parkinson. They try to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. 
defense strong up front. They're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Truth be told, the tight end probably would have been better off dropping that ball. But let's talk about this corner. Not only diagnosing the play, but being physical enough to bring the big tight end down for a loss. Now a second down throw for Stafford. There's Pat Manigo. Another pass. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Williams gets it on the draw. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. From the gun, here's Stafford. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And... He's forced to just throw it away. Quickly, he gets it out to his right. Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find any. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. Man, what a big-time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Rams add on to their lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This returnable with Reed. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. And you have to imagine the defense is saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. Jacobs to start the drive. Give him 14 on that play. One play, one first down. And he continues to carry the ball well. Another nice one here. But as they find themselves continuing to trail here in the second half, the opposing team's defense is not really concerned about the run game. They need to find a way to use the pass to get the lead and then go back to this run game to close the game out. Fighting off defenders here. He'll churn forward and pick up three. They face second down and seven. Love to throw. Right. 
You can see here, Mike, the impact that sending your receivers deep does to the defense. You add so many layers, and the defense has to get so much depth in their pass coverage, it leaves a lot of room underneath, and that's exactly what the quarterback takes advantage, tucks the ball down, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. seems to be building on it because with that chunk play just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of they got a long way to go to get back into this game but so far off to a good start on the ground it's jacobs and the packers are going to have a first and goal he's able to take it inside the 10 to the eight yard line finding yourself down here multiple scores in the second half the defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. A run on first and goal to the five-yard line. Second down and goal. Here's Love. That is caught by the tight end. Tucker Kraft. Touchdown, Packers. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Running is Jacobs. And he'll get in for the two-point conversion. And now the deficit is just a field goal. Not a real complicated breakdown needed here, Mike. In short yardage situations like that, if you have confidence in both your back and your offensive line, sometimes it's the simplest plays that have the best results. team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Johnson now to return across the 20 they'll mark him down before the 25 yard line that's where the offense will take over the home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession they lead by a field goal as they go to work 
with a first and ten. Stafford. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Really nice job with the protection up front. Just nobody could get open downfield. So it's a combination of your offensive weapons have to do a better job taking advantage of that time to work and separate. But also, how impressive is that by that defense to be able to cover for that amount of time? In motion, it's Robinson. On the give, it's Williams. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. They come to the line, needing 11 here on third down. A shotgun snap to Stafford. in this one as we end the third we'll return with more after this this is the nfl on ea sports a fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and ten They go play action with Stafford. He gets it into the hands of Atwell. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Here's the give up the middle with Williams. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? Stafford now on third down. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst-case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. team headed out for the Rams as they try to play the field position game here protecting a fourth quarter lead and this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20 the visitors offense running back Josh Jacobs heading back on the field and it's hard to believe you can run the ball a whole lot better than he has the vision the cutback ability the acceleration the stats it has all been on display throughout. They'll keep it on the ground. And a nice run. Down to about nine. It'll bring up second down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. They'll run. And he's going to have that first down. Tackle made up at the 30. 
This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. So, first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run here. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. So, a couple of first downs, and give them first and 10. They're at the 41. Here's Luck. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll stick to the ground. He'll get this down inside the 40-yard line. That's a gain of five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. It's the tight end craft in motion. Open man is Reed. He's got it. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. What a moment in this game. A touchdown would give them the late lead. It is first down and goal. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. And this is incomplete. But it looked like that defender got a head start. Let's check the call. So now then, first and goal from the one. the shotgun. It's love. To the goal line and in. Tucker Kraft. Touchdown Green Bay. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth Mike and now the question is can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead? and get themselves this big win. Now the try here for the point after. It's up and good. And the Packers have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Johnson now to return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly making the right read seemingly every time. Set to go now on first and 10.
They'll start this on the ground. It's Williams. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Here's Stafford. He's going to look deep. Going to pass. And he's going to be brought down inside the 15. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike. And just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. Working out of the gun, Stafford. That one, taken in. 2-2, two, two, touchdown, touchdown Rams. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. What separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League, Mike, is not only the ability to process, but the ability to process quickly under pressure. And I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through his progression, find his target in the end zone. Now, remember, all scoring plays are reviewed. Tight game, tight call. They're going to take a good long look at this one. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He knocks it through. And the Rams go up by a field goal as they lead it by three. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown time to kick it back the other way this returnable with Reed he's across the 20 taken down just shy of the 25 the Packers offense back onto the field for their next possession this one has been tight so far a field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten Second and six. Back to throw is Love. He'll take a shot for Watson. And that'll be intercepted by Tredavious White. And the Rams are going to take over here near the 40. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his corner. Because this defense, they're on to it. They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball. Here comes Cooper Cup and the rest of the L.A. offense set for this next Rams possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten.
drive begins with a run by Williams. And not a lot there. Only up to about the 41. Second down and eight. It's another run here for Williams. It'll take this ahead for a gain of about five, and here comes third down. Throwing Stafford. That is caught. It's Robinson. And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. Jordan Love and the rest of the Packer offense ready for their next possession. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. They'll come up here first and ten. Now Love. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. When you can win so fast as an edge rusher, you put so much pressure on the quarterback to speed everything up. He can sense that pressure coming either from his front or back side. It either speeds up and leads to an errant throw, or in this case, leads to a sack. Throwing on second down, Love. Here's a screen taken in by Jacobs. And he's going to go out of bounds, but not until he's past the 25-yard line. A gain there of 21. Good for a Green Bay first down. Uh, you can kind of sense this defense smells blood in the water. They're able to get to the quarterback on the previous down and thinking, heck, let's do it again. Great timing on this screenplay by the play caller. Use the aggressiveness of the defense against them, time up the screen to the back, and pick up a first down. On first down, it's Love. That's Dobbs open left side. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. To the sideline, he's got Watson. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains. Sean McVay disagrees on the sideline and he's thrown the red challenge flag at issue was he able to stay in bounds the NFL rules you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball no bobbling the ball not moving around he has control so that's what the referee is looking at here So the challenge there unsuccessful, and it will remain a completed pass. Here's second down and three. From the gun, it's long. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose. And forcing third down. Trying to connect with Romeo Dobbs that time. And third down coming up. That 
left is Musgrave, the man in motion. We'll try to run it here with Jacob. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Jacobs. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Second down. They'll drop to throw. Back complete to Jacobs. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball. Keep that to a short game. Time now becoming a factor as we get to third down. That is incomplete. Here we go. Where down to could be their final play. It's fourth down. They desperately needed that one, Mike. Down here late, they've only got a few remaining snaps to go, and it puts all of the pressure of the game now on fourth down. Let's see what play call they have in a gotta-have-it situation. And right now, this quarterback needs to make his best throw in the biggest moment of the game. And that's not going to work. The defense comes up with a fourth down, fourth quarter stand, and forces a turnover on downs. So you roll the dice on offense, and you fail. But now you can't give up. Your defense has to go out there and get a stop. You have all three timeouts. You have time to get the ball back one more time on offense. So now your defense needs to answer the bell and give your offense one more shot. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. A give, and here comes Williams. And they'll have it across midfield, now at the opposing 46-yard line. First and ten. They'll go again with Williams. And he'll be held down at about the 35-yard line. That's a timeout for Green Bay. It'll be their second. Get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to go in this one. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an eight. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here. As he's down to an eight. 